really pretty down here. And for a free camp, that's fantastic. Right in the Avon Valley. Weather dependent, we might shoot into Gijigan up. They got the agricultural show on this weekend. <laughs> What? Oh, Jack, I'm so sorry. What? So the wind died down, but the rain came in last night. Uh, so we're gonna have to pack it up all wet. Hi guys, welcome back. So we're off on another weekend trip. Um, we'll just be doing weekend trips until we take off on our trip next year. We got recommended to a little campsite out near 2J so we decided to head out and um, check it out this weekend so we're just here for Friday Saturday night uh, the place is called Cobbler's Pool um, you can find it on wiki camps it's about uh, 16 k's east of 2J so it's just before you get into 2J as you come through the Avon Valley and um, it's beautiful it's a little free camp right down on the Avon River which it's quite unusual to find free camps around Perth. Um, so there's no amenities, obviously, um, but you're right down on the river. Uh, we've just turned up, there's about four other campers, but everyone's got their own little space. No one's really on top of each other. They've got their own little fire rings. Uh, dogs are allowed. Uh, generators are allowed. Um, it's suitable for caravans, campers, tents. Um, so yeah, it's really beautiful. I'll show you around in a minute. The um, only thing that maybe is a downside is probably about maybe 200 meters um, away from the river is the train tracks where the freight trains come through. So we've had two trains come through since we got here and it's not too bad really. They toot as they go over the crossing and then you just hear the carriages for a minute or so and then it's done. So it doesn't seem to be like it's going to be a big nuisance having that there and all the reviews on wiki camp say after a while you just don't even notice them anymore so we'll see we'll see how we go through the night but those two that have come past have been have been fine so we've just finally found a spot the site isn't very even so we've struggled a little bit to find somewhere where we can get slightly level the site's really big the one that we've chosen here and just behind the camper there is the river They've got their own little fire rings there, so we'll be able to have a fire tonight because we're still in fire season, which is fantastic. Um, but this will be our view for the next couple of days, which is just beautiful. A little bit further up, I don't think you'll be able to see on the GoPro though. There's some rocks and the water's sort of getting a little bit of a rapids over there. It's, it's really pretty, so time to set up. <clears throat> I suppose I should help Craig. I think we might have to put the awning up because the forecast for the weather for the weekend is not so great I think there's a lot of rain coming through tomorrow so unfortunately I think we're gonna to have to put that that awning up for a bit of protection but we best get into it and we'll talk to you later This little pole here precesses into that hole there. Yeah, I know. So why don't you put that foot on the floor? <laughs> pop, pop, pop it down there, and you put that on there. There you go. That's the one. Far out. Good thing I was here, or our dinner will be all over the floor. Um, so anyway, <laughs> been setting up for, what was it? Miranda just told me half an hour, 35 minutes, which considering we've done the awning as well, um, <laughs> Oh, pretty stoked with that to be honest like we haven't been trying to do it as quick as we can um, but <laughs> there's a train buzzing past at the moment but the uh, the last few camps that we've done it's been raining and of course it's due to rain this time 20 mils tomorrow so it's gonna absolutely chuck it down That's unfortunately so, um, so we thought we'd put the awning up so at least we can get underneath and out of the rain uh, hey Cam hey. you been helping us set up that's a long train though. That was a long train mate. It was about 50 Alright, it only took one beer to set up. I'm pretty happy with that. 
You got that leg sorted? Oh, what you need to do is you need to put some wood on the end of the hose. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> Nice. So there's a little path just down from our um, campsite that leads all the way down to the river here. Got a little bit of sand. Sorry for the wind. It might be a little bit hard to hear me, but look at this. This is just beautiful. It's quite calm right out the front here, but um, there is a little bit more of a current as you get over there. But yeah, this is really pretty down here. And for a free camp, that's fantastic. Right in the Avon Valley. So it takes probably about an hour from Perth to get here. Um, but yeah, what a great little spot. So I think it's just uh, a night around by the fire, having the nachos that Miranda's cooked up. Ham and cafe food. And we'll catch us in the morning. Good morning. So, it was actually really windy last night. It hasn't rained yet, which is good. Um, but there was one section there, it was about three o'clock, and I could just hear the canvas flapping all over the place. And then a train came zooming past. Yeah, big old freight train making a hell of a racket. Um, that wasn't too bad, really. Just adds to the place. Yeah, so this area, uh, Cobbler's Pool, this campsite, free camp, um, this is actually the end point for day one and the start point for day two of the Avon descent. Um, so this is where all the support crew and the competitors and everything, they all camp along here. Um, but you could imagine when this place is in full flow, I mean it's quite, <laughs> it's quite meek and mild at the moment, but you can see all of this up here, all these rocks, all that slime and muck and stuff on those rocks. That's obviously where the water level does get up to. So, yeah, when that's in full flow, like right where I'm standing now, you can imagine trying to get your kayak or your speedboat through all this stuff. Oh, it'd be fantastic to come down and watch that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee, sit down, relax. I was just reading the sign back there about Cobbler's Pool. Um, I was saying before, it's like the uh, the staging area for day two for the Avon Descent, which is 124 kilometers. Did you know this? From Northern to Bayswater, wow, running through 2J. Okay. Yeah, imagine kayaking 124 k's. Yeah. yeah, a lot of it they have to walk if there's no yeah, water. <laughs> yeah, because it was also saying that some years it's like really flowing and other years it's just a trickle. So, mm. um, yeah, but Cobbler's Pool, there's these fish species um, cobbler or catfish or something like that. They used to catch heaps from there. 
um, but there was a government scheme called the river training scheme I think it was where they um, they try to mitigate a whole bunch of flooding by bulldozing an area of the river and ever since then it just created sand and sediment to flow into the river and uh, increase salinity as well and that cobbler species hasn't been caught out of the river for decades now which is really disappointing mm. yeah all right so as we were driving down 2j road last night on the way here we turned down lovers lane that's this road here that cobbler pool runs off the jeep we we're following the gps and it told us to turn right a couple of hundred meters down the road there's no right hand turn so we kept driving oh, was maybe half a k and there's this tiny little sign here cobbler pool that's what you got to look out for and the uh the orange sea container that's there and then you just uh follow your nose down the track go across the uh the railway line and then down the bottom near the river there'll be someone taking photos of the trees <laughs> you just uh yeah you just follow your nose down the bottom there's heaps of campsites down there you can turn left turn right there's a bunch so when we got him there was already a few people like straight at the entrance there as you come down we just shot up to the right and got a nice secluded spot all by ourselves. beautiful it's really good i mean free camp there's no amenities no toilets no dump points no facilities whatsoever just a beautiful free camp Two young flighty kids, two middle-aged people crambling across all these rocks. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. How's your hip? I'm not the one who fell over. Yeah, we were rushing to get to the train. Well, I was rushing to get to the train. I took a tumble. <laughs> We've just taken a walk up the river to where those rocks were that we could see from our camper and it's so pretty there's lots of water flowing over the rocks and it's just really peaceful but this really cool old tree i'll spin you around and see hopefully the gopro captures this it's really cool check this out so it's sort of its roots are heading on down into the river it's so cool So we just got back from our morning walk. We're just whipping up some breakfast. And uh, we're gonna sit down, enjoy our brekkie with this beautiful view. And from then, I'm not too sure. Weather dependent, we might shoot into Gigi Gannup. They got the agricultural show on this weekend. Uh, so if it starts raining, we might just head in there. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get to uh, cooking brekkie. Not a bad view for Brecky, is it? Whoa! <laughs> uh, uh, come on! No, the best thing about this spot <laughs> didn't cost us a cent. It's incredible. It's so good. Wow. All right, I'm gonna get into it. Just on our way to the Gitchy Up show. And Miranda's got the kids into this geocache. What is it called? Geocaching? Geocaching. Yeah. Geocaching. You want to tell us what it's all about? Because I don't really know. I found babies. It's just like a big treasure hunt, I think. So you download the app off of geocaching.com and then um, it shows you these different locations and it navigates to it and then they're hidden somewhere so the kids have to find it and then there'll be little things in there so they can decide to swap it out with something There's that they've got bum. or not some of, this is considered a small container so i don't know how big the, they get up to the but, baby's bum. and then you just sign your little log geocaching.com to Go say that you found it and no, yeah it's just a little bit of fun so i think when we hit the road next year we'll try and plan Wait. our pit stops where there's a 
acacia around and the kids can run around and try and try and find them. Just no. a bit of fun anyway. Wait, so what did you swap for it? Um, the... Oh, the Nola. Somebody put a KFC wrapper in it. <laughs> 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 right, we need to get a pen and we need to sign our name to say that yeah. we were I'll here. Go. I'll go. Cam, back. careful crossing the road. Well, that's pretty cool. It kind of breaks up the trip a little bit then if you can yes. find them. Yeah, it's And the kids fun. are screaming at you that they need a wee. You just say, well, wait for the next geocaching spot. We'll get out then. Yeah, it's a bit of fun anyway. Yeah. There's Where also... do you get the containers from? That, that's part of the... Somebody's planted that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But what about the little book? That's obviously part of the geocaching. Yeah, I don't know. It's got the uh, name on there. There's they also earth caches, which I'll then tell you about the... No, I don't know, the, how um, the land was I'll formed in the area oh, that yeah, you're at, which is kind of interesting as well. So you definitely Gives you like a little those. bit of geological yeah. history, does it? The yeah. The caching one. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So we've got the free version at the moment, but you can upgrade to a um, bigger that? version, um, premium version, oh, which yeah. gives you more more locations to find. Oh, cool. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. The kids were excited. We went out the other weekend, and out of the eight, we only found two, and all they had was a log book, so the kids were getting a bit disappointed. So this is the first one with the trinkets. Yeah, it came straight through it as well. Yeah. How did you know it was going to be in the tree trunk? Well, no, because this navigates to where you're at. Like, it tells you how close you are yeah, to it. Yeah, right, right. We found it! I know! Hold well on, guys. Yay. Hey! You look like you're in your element. I am. I see there's crafts up there. There's markets everywhere. There is. This is great. The kids are even happy. Everyone's happy. Everyone's a winner. Josh, you okay? Yep. Come on, yes, we got the Superman seat grab. Double tail with three What do you think of that? Do you think that other guy broke his ribs? Oh, possibly. <laughs> he didn't look too good after that. Crazy, eh? Yeah. yeah. One guy had a massive stack. I didn't get that on film, but I got the other one, the guy that just oh, stacked yeah. it there, and I got him. But the other guy, he had a massive wipe out, hey. He hasn't come back. He hasn't come back, no. He's sitting in the car at the moment, holding his ribs. Oh, yeah. oh it's some nice shiny shoes you guys have got there, huh? They could take your fingers straight off, Cam. If you're not wearing the gloves. Whoa! 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 Oh. And he's looking at you. <laughs> Can I pat him from here? Yeah. yeah. Well, you need to step forward a couple of steps, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Whoa, that's the spot. That's the Yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sharp. It is. Touch is great. Now let's see if you can hold him. Oh well done! You're strong. Good job. Yeah, this guy's got an afro. A what? That guy a what? Oh yeah. Guys, that one's for Nana. Oh, her that's favorite that's Birdie Beetle. <laughs> Wait, does she like Birdie Beetle? Used to be two bucks for Birdie Beetle. <laughs> that's now eight. Like does she like Birdie Beetle? Yeah. And, um, does Nana like Birdie Beetle? Nana will like that. <laughs> Wait, will she? Oh, I wonder if she'll notice any are missing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait, let's see. How many? There's only two in there, wasn't there? <laughs> Yeah, there's only two in there. <laughs> so we're back from the Gigi show. That was fantastic. That's just a yearly event, I think, but it was great. There was animals, there was shows going on. We had a bit of lunch. Kids got a show bag. You know, the typical stuff that you do at a show. So it was lots of fun. It was well worth going. Um, we're back now. The kids have decided to go for a swim. Personally, I think they're crazy because I don't know what the temp is, but it's not very, very warm. But they're having lots of fun there. In the background, they're actually not arguing. They're playing nicely, so so be it then if they want to do that so I think it's just going to be quiet afternoon around the campfire Craig's got the fire going again put some dinner on soon and I think that's about it so it's perfect perfect little afternoon Quite the setup going on here. What's happening? Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. What do we got? Oh, steaks, wraps. Uno cards. On the fire too. Look at that. This will be interesting. It's the first time we've ever cooked over a fire like this. We're flying blind, like we usually are when we cook. <laughs> Nothing different, she says. <laughs> so what are your thoughts, Miranda, of cooking on a fire? It's a bit hot. <laughs> and we've lost food we, the fire. We lost a kebab. <laughs> keeps getting <laughs> How does everyone make it look so cool? If you pick up two at the same time. You really oh, one. Lost one. Oh. How many have we got left? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said don't pick up two. Okay, okay, it's too late now. So just start with those, at least you can have that. Are you having a bun? Or yes, a please, a bun, please. Um, please. Where'd those ants come from? <laughs> They're fake ants. They're yeah. fake ants. Are they out of your um, yeah. trick show bag, are they? Yeah. Oh, hot dog bun. Yeah, Jimmy. How much of that salad are you going to have, Cam? Huh? How much of that uh, lettuce are you going to have? There's ants on the food. <laughs> There's ants on the food. We can't the eat it. Good hot dog. Yeah. Good hot dog. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. Mm, it's overcooked. Good one. What are you up to? Making s'mores. How many are you making? Three. So I'm not having You're not having one, Jacqueline. I'm saving I'm saving three to make my special way of toasting marshmallows. Oh, okay. One s'more. Done! Oh, and guys! We got some worms. Oh yeah, we got some worms at the Gigi Ganup show today, didn't we? We're gonna yeah. try and start up a worm and farm we got again. Show bag. So on this one, you open it, 
but this one's got a pillow, it's a gum trick. You put it in the packet and it's folded down. You open it, it lands on your finger, but it wouldn't hurt because it's got the pillow there. But if you don't back want when, to... Back when Daddy um, had it, it was a big metal bar that snapped on your finger. <laughs> and, we, and we also Are got... Are you going to offer me some chewing gum? Yeah. I'd love to have some chewing gum, Cam. Here you go. Ow! Oh, no! What? Jacqueline, I'm so sorry. What? Your ants were on the table and I thought it was rubbish and I threw them on the fire. Oh. I'm sorry. So, Boo-Boo, <laughs> do you forgive me after throwing your ants on the fire by mistake? Yeah. We'll have a look and see, but Cammy was so sweet and he just came and gave Jacqueline some more. So, no, those were the young ones I had at home. Oh, thanks, Cammy. You need to give Cammy a nice big so, time. crisis averted. <laughs> I don't think Cameron would Parenting let me. fail right there. <laughs> so, I am hot tip <laughs> don't throw things on the fire if you don't know what they are. Don't change direction, wind. Yeah. We <laughs> need to get big goggles. Last oh, one. Basically, in and out. Yep. Quick drop off. Oh, oh God, that's yours. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> that one's Cam's. No, it isn't. We'll make sure we know which one that one was. That one there. That is not mine. Okay, so I reckon probably not too long once they're down there. Whoa, gosh, <laughs> now we've got a fire here. No, oh, goodness no. me. Let's get a cook it, Cam. Ow. Have to touch here. Yeah, yes. careful. Oh shoot! What? Look at it! Oh, it's perfect! Open that up! Oh, yeah, see he was closest to the fire. Yeah, <laughs> that's good Cam. That's that can perfect. be your one. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I'd probably get the other ones out then. Are you happy with that one? Yeah, I'm happy with that. morning. I say it all the time but this is the best time of the day and most people are snoozing it away. So the wind died down but the rain came in last night uh, so we're gonna have to pack it up all wet unfortunately. Uh, as soon as I get home I'm gonna open it up to dry it out. Um, mold's always a concern with a canvas camper. Um, we haven't got any mold yet we never have. I hope we never will. Um, I'll probably do I'll probably do a video on sort of the products we use and, and what I do to try and avoid mold but number one tip as soon as you get home even if it's still raining open it up you don't want your camper packed up wet for any more length of time than it needs to so that's what we'll be doing today everything's all wet uh, yeah we'll pack it up go home I'll open it up straight away wait for a a nice sunny day before I pack it away again. So as peaceful as a spot as this is to have your morning coffee, it's a tad on the chilly side this morning, so I'm gonna go back up there and get that fire going again. We got some wood left over. Now there's still some hot coals, so I'm gonna get that thing cranking and go sit by the fire, I think. Well, we've been in no hurry today and thankfully the sun's actually come out so we've avoided that wet pack up which i was dreading which would be nice save us having to open up the camper when we get home it's been a super slow morning actually just had breakfast and sitting around the fire kids have been playing and messing about down here by the by the river they want to go up to those waterfalls again that we were at yesterday so I might just uh, go for a little wander up there so we'll just pack up whenever we feel like it and toddle on home. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Catch you out later.